Are you traveling to Istanbul soon and would like to know what attractions you can visit without paying a penny? Then in this video we show you some of our favorite places that you can visit for free. You will be surprised how much you can visit in the city on a budget. But before we start with our video, we invite you to check our two digital booklets, The Best of Istanbul and Cappadocia and The Best of Turkey, where you'll find useful information on where to stay, where to eat, how to move from city to city, and other suggestions that we do not share on our social media. You may find the links in the description box and pinned comment. One of the largest and oldest cover bazaars in the world is the Grand Bazaar, known in Turkish as Kapalu Çarşısı, and is totally free to enter. It was built in 1456, and here you'll be able to visit around 4,000 shops selling different things, from Turkish rocks, lamps, any sort of souvenirs, clothes, and many other things. It's a great place for any photography lover since its architecture is beautiful. You can easily spend a whole day in this place if you really want. Even you can find some beautiful areas called Han Asinjirli Han. For sure, you'll find great places. Just as the Grand Bazaar, the Spice Bazaar or Mesur Çarşısı in Turkish is another bazaar to visit. This is much smaller than the Grand Bazaar and it will take you just a minute to walk through. It was built in 1664 and is one of the most colorful bazaars in the city. You can find any sort of spices, teas and Turkish delights. Be ready, because you'll want to taste everything here. Shopkeepers will try to invite you to their shop by giving you some small samples of their products. Istanbul has plenty of beautiful mosques. But my absolute favorite is, without a doubt, Suleimaniye Mosque. And yes, it can also be visited for free. It was built between 1550 and 1557 by the imperial architect Sinan, under the orders of one of the most important sultans of the Ottoman Empire, Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent. It is located on the third hill of the city, making it visible from almost every point in the areas near the Golden Horn. I must mention that its interior is incredible and its acoustic is amazing. You can hear your own whisper throughout the whole mosque. Don't forget to check the gardens for some nice views of the Golden Horn and the Bosphorus Strait. Here you can also visit the tombs of Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent and his wife, Hurram Sultan. Now let's move on to one of the most important monuments of the city, Hagia Sophia. It was built between 532 and 537 by the Byzantine Emperor Justinian I. This is a place that has seen many transitions throughout the centuries. It was originally built as a church, then became a mosque, later on a museum after the establishment of the Republic of Turkey, and as of July of 2020, once again became a mosque. Now it can be visited for free. Just make sure to follow the dress code before entering. Another important monument is the Sultan Ahmed Mosque, also known as the Blue Mosque, and it was built between 1609 and 1616, and where we can admire its outstanding interior, decorated with nearly 20,000 ethnic tiles in turquoise color. It's located just across Hagia Sophia and next to the Hippodrome of Constantinople. It now lays where once part of the great Byzantine palace stood. Its impressive architecture with six minarets makes it unique among others, plus it's a UNESCO's world heritage. Just keep in mind that restoration works have been going on since early 2018 and most of its interior is still covered. But once the works are done, you have to visit it. Located just next to the Blue Mosque, this is another place that we can visit for free in the city. Here once the Hippodrome of Constantinople was standing, but now we can only find three structures of it. The Serpent Column, the Obelisk of Theodosius, and the Egyptian Obelisk, which used to be in the center of the Hippodrome. 
This is one of the mosques that is situated in a privileged place, just by the shores of the Bosphorus Strait and very close to the bridge. It will give us some of the most splendid views of the city. The mosque was built under the orders of Sultan Abdul Majid I and was completed around the year 1854. The Asian side of Istanbul is connected to the European side by three bridges, and one of them is the famous bridge that mostly everybody knows as the Bosphorus Bridge. You'll be able to see it from almost every area near the shores of the Bosphorus. The best time is at night, when the bridge is lit up. Keep in mind that pedestrians cannot cross the bridge anymore, only vehicles can cross it. The Maiden's Tower is located on a small islet near the shores of Uskudar, on the Asian side of Istanbul, and is probably one of my favorite places to sit during sunset. It's a very lively area at all times, where you can sit somewhere along the coast in Uskudar and have a tea while watching the tower. Just keep in mind that at the moment, the tower is going through some restoration works, and it has been fully covered, but we hope soon we can see it back again. Istanbul is home to plenty of cisterns. Some of them have been discovered, and one of the most famous ones is Basilica Cistern, but it has a fee to enter. However, there is another cistern that you can visit for free, and that's Nakilben Cistern, situated under the carpet shop Nakash, near the Blue Mosque. Inside, you can see different exhibitions, and at the time we visited it, they had one about the Hippodrome of Constantinople. This church, also known as the Iron Church, is situated on the banks of the Golden Horn in Balat and Fener neighborhoods. It was built by the Bulgarians who used to live in the area during the Ottoman times and is a must-visit place when visiting Balat and Fener. This Roman aqueduct system is one of the largest structures in Istanbul and was erected in the late 4th century AD and was used to supply water into the city through many cisterns, including the Basilica Cistern. It's located in Fatih district in the Old Peninsula, and now, one of the main boulevards of Istanbul passes under its arches. There are some parks where you can also walk or just sit. This park is located behind Hagia Sophia, and is a great place for a nice walk especially in spring and autumn seasons. My favorite season is in spring, since thousands of tulips are adorning this beautiful park. Located in Sarier district, this is a must-visit place, especially during the Tulip Festival, which takes place every year in April. If you want to escape the bustling areas of the city for a bit, this place is a great option. Located in Fatih district, the Pantokrator Monastery is a complex of two former Orthodox churches and a chapel, built during the Byzantine period between 1118 and 1150. Just as most of the Byzantine churches, it was also converted into a mosque after the conquest of Constantinople in 1453. It was the second largest church in Istanbul, with the first being Hagia Sophia. This is the largest Catholic church in the city and is on Istiklal Street, one of the most visited areas of Istanbul. While walking along Istiklal Street, you'll be able to find this beautiful church. So these are just some of the places and main monuments that you can visit for free in Istanbul. If you know more that would like to add to the list, please share them in comments below. If you want more videos like this every week, then subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.